Hey everyone, Cobra here. Uh, we're back with part two of the Restricted Base Siege event. So this one, I wanted to do a couple things. One, make a couple of clarifications, and then also to show you guys a very good strategy on how to do this. So, we have a level nine here. So this is the hardest one we've been able to beat. We're going for record time. We have, ideally, you want your two raid people so the strongest ones in the center like we have girl fox here damien was supposed to be there but um we set it up a little weird so you want in a line that way you're all close together and you can join very quickly the timer for the base appearing starts the second you form the team but the timer for the actual event for the rankings starts when the first interaction with it hits whether that's breaking the shields on the defense station or Oh, he broke the shield. Or when you actually hit with the raid. So, what we want to do is line up like this. That way, marches are the fastest to join each other. The strongest person or one of the strong people is going to attack. We can see if there's any of these that we can take out at this point. And you want to alternate. So you can see the second the first one hit, now the troops are coming back. Now we have our second raid. It's already going. So the second my troops are going to get back, I'm going to be ready. They returned. Bam. We're going to send it. So now what this is going to do is it's going to maximize it. Because if the person starts it, then you can make sure that you have enough to keep going. Now you want, when you set this up, you want one medic, one obturator, or sorry, one obturator, one infiltrator, and three medics. Because once you hit 70%, it's going to start to uh, suppress people. Which means it's going to stop them from attacking temporarily. The medic can fix that one time. So having three medics allows you to give your uh, strongest people more chances to keep going. And then that way this will be even quicker. So now we're about to hit with the second raid. Um, actually, we're waiting on some troops. It's never a bad idea if you're doing a speed run to speed up the troops a little bit. You can see we actually now, waiting for these raids, have broken all but one of the defense stations. Those are going to make it weaker so that when we hit, it's going to even deal more damage. So, in theory, this should only be one more raid, maybe two, probably two. So now we've got our next one going up. So this is kind of the system you want to have because we have time to get back and send troops. The faster you get this going the smoother it's going to be, the faster you're going to go. So our time to beat, we're trying to beat 17 minutes on this. The first 30% is going to take the longest because we have to actually do raids. Once you get past that part, it works a lot better because then you can send individual attacks. So this first part, that's the hard part. So here we are. Getting ready for the next raid. And one thing I forgot to mention in the first video is these, you can summon five each day yourself. So each person has five summon attempts. However, if you join someone else's, that does not take away from that. So if you have someone else join or like someone else in your faction that spawns one in and you want to join their team, does not take away from your chances. So you can keep doing it. Which makes it very convenient. Because you can end up doing, well, all of them in one day if you've got plenty of people. You want to make sure you have the best equipment, best specialties, you know, your buffs. Another thing that a lot of people do um, is you want the enraged status. You can see right here, battle enraged. It gives you an extra 5% attack, which isn't a huge deal, but... 5% could make the difference between, you know, 70.16 and 69.9 where it'll start phase 2. 
So that's what you want to pay attention to. To do that, you can just scout or like recon or attack someone. I just sent one troop to attack someone. Super simple. So now we broke this. So now instantly, first thing we're going to send, I like to send them, you know, by type to get the max buffs. Okay, once my next one's good, it's back now. I'm gonna go, we're gonna put all my biker dudes on. This is my really good army. And you can see, look, we're dropping more and more. So I'm keeping, I'm a medic right now, so I'm keeping an eye on my teammates to see if they are getting suppressed especially the biggest guys damien and girl fox over here if they get suppressed i'm going to instantly jump on it and be like nah so like right here damien just got a status effect first aid relief bam because we really need one of our big people to keep hitting hellraiser 2 except it won't let me hit his okay we're down to 30 percent the stations are gone. So now it's just the last little bit. I need to be a little quicker at this. But we are about to finish. And you can see we have 19 minutes left. Just a few hits. Time to beat, I think, was 17 minutes. And we st we're pushing 12. So this will be it right here. Ooh, that was too much. We did it. Look at that. 11 minutes. And you know what that puts us at? Restricted base siege. That puts us at a solid first place by six minutes. Look at that teamwork. So that's how you want to do this. I'm sorry if this was a little bit of a boring video because we had to wait in between everything. But that's how you want to do it. You want that line. You want to make sure that you have that set up. You got the strongest, you know, your raid people in the center that you're all going alternating. You know, that you've got those medics to... The, get rid of the suppression and the the disadvantages that people can get and you can get good times like that obviously it can get better but you know that's still really solid for us for where we're at so hope this helps uh if you have any questions then let me know below